so excited to introduce our very first book of the month from the rooftop of Cumming Elementary. I am up here and I'll be up here all night in my tent because you all did such a great job raising money to help our school. This, this month's book of the month is entitled Be Kind, which goes right along with our PBIS expectations. This book is by Pat Miller and illustrated by Jen Hill. Tanisha spilled grape juice yesterday all over her new dress. Everyone laughed. I almost did too, but mom always tells me to be kind, so I tried. I don't think it worked, I said. Purple is my favorite color. I thought Tanisha would smile, but she ran into the hall instead. When she came back, snack time was over. She put on her art smock and didn't look at anyone. I almost told Tanisha that art was my favorite class, but I didn't want her to leave again. So I painted purple splotches and added some green until I had a bunch of beautiful violets. While I painted, I thought about Tanisha. Should I have handed her my napkin, let her borrow my sweatshirt, spilled juice so everyone stared at me instead? What does it mean to be kind? Maybe it's giving cookies to Mr. Rinaldi who lives alone. Letting someone with smaller feet have my too tight shoes. He might win races in them. Maybe it's helping, putting dirty dishes in the sink, cleaning up after Otis, our class guinea pig. He is a messy eater. Maybe it's paying attention, telling Desmond I like his blue boots, asking the new girl to be my partner, or listening to Aunt Franny's stories, even the ones I've heard before. Being kind should be easy, like throwing away a wrapper or recycling a bottle, bottle or saying thank you, bless you. My mom says the quickest way to be kind is to use people's names. Hey, Kayla, what's going on, Omar? Good afternoon, Rabbi. Being kind can be hard, too. Even when you know what to do, teaching someone something I'm good at is tricky, even when I'm patient. I'm sticking up for someone when other kids aren't kind is really hard. Maybe I can't solve Tanisha's grape juice problem. Maybe all I can do is sit by her in our class and paint this picture for her because I know she likes purple too. Maybe I can only do small things, but my small things might join small things other people do. And together, they could grow into something big. Something really big, so big that all our kindness spilled out, all, so big that all of our kindnesses would spill out of our school, spread through the town, travel across the country and go all the way around the world. Right back to Tanisha and me so we can be kind again and again. And again. And that's the end. Everyone, I hope that you read or listened and heard those great examples of how we can be kind and how when we do small things to help one another, those spread across our school and go outside of our school and make others feel good. So remember, 
that is one of our expectations to be kind and always think of little things you can do to be kind to others in school and out of school. Thank you so much. Have a great night, nighty night.